Hey there, it's Farmer Brad, and on today's video, I'm going to make a poor man's Berkey water filter. So here I have two four-gallon buckets, and pretty much what this will, how this will work, is you'll fill water up into the top bucket, and it will drain through these two filters down through the bottom of that and into this lower bucket part. Um, these are two filters that I got off of Amazon. I'll put the links in the description. And they're supposed to be good for um, 6,000 gallons when used together. So first I want to kind of get an idea of how these will fit in here. So here I have a drill bit that should match that fairly close. And when I thread this off, it uh, this will seal up against up against it. So what I want to do is go ahead and place this lid and I'm going to um, just mark where I think this should go in order to give it enough clearance so here I have uh, two little dots I'm going to position this lid on the bottom of here and then I'll carefully drill a hole Now the next step uh, it recommends is to flush these filters. And pretty much what they do recommend is putting these little rubber parts on the top of here and then shoving it up uh, to a sink spigot. But before I do that, I'm going to prep uh, the bottom, so actually, yeah, this lid will now go on top of the other bucket. And these are food safe, BPA free buckets. So the spigot that I have here, um, let me get the parts, it has some gaskets to help with the sealing of the water. I feel like I should put it high enough that it can clear the edge of the counter. So I'm going to say that spot should be good. So I'll go ahead and mark that. And then I'm going to check this and that is pretty close. This is a half inch drill bit. Okay, that looks good. Now let me figure out Let me figure out the order of 
these gaskets. Okay, well, just to save time, I'll go ahead and put this on there like that. Then I'll put this gasket here. I'll just go ahead and thread that down into the hole. Then I, on the inside there's another gasket. Okay, that definitely took way too long, uh, but I got this one all cleaned off. I'll put it inside of here. And shove it up there. So I'm holding it and tightening it. There we go. That's nice and snug. I'm going to rinse these out. Okay, now I'm going to flush these. See how that goes. Okay, so I got one of these uh, purged. So actually, I'm going to put this little gasket on the bottom side of the bucket. So it should seal that. Place it on there and then thread this back through. if the bottom is sealed then this part will get past to the bucket lid Okay, that, that feels secure. Now I'll go flush the other one. So that time the flushing of it went well. Uh, what you end up doing is you end up letting this sort of almost like it's sweating the water out for about five seconds. That's all it uh, says you need to do. So now I have the rubber gasket on here. I'm going to feed it through. Let's see if I can get some better pressure down. Okay, that's starting to feed through, so I'll start threading this.
Okay, so this is a black carbon filter. And so they said it's common for um, some black specks to come off on this side. Um, but what you end up doing is you set that on there. And then you fill this up and then it will trickle the water down. Uh, let me go ahead and start that. Okay, so I have water enough that it's going to start going through, and I don't see any leaking occurring. Let me lift this up so you can hopefully see. It dripping. And there you have it. Then this uh, lid goes on top. So part of the reason for this was I was tired of the zero filters, the Brita filters, just taking forever and not having very much quantity. And in this case, we'll be able to have four gallons of water in this bottom part, uh, which I feel is pretty good. And then just remember to swap out the filters after you've used about 6,000 gallons. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll post updates on uh, my thoughts after I've had a chance to use it for a while. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And until next time.